Today I am taking up a little dry topic but very relevant as far as rotary and non-ticks is concerned. Concept of torque in RCT. Torque is basically the force generated by a rotating object. During biomechanical preparation when a file is rotated in root canals, it generates a force on dentinal walls and in return it faces resistance by dentinal walls that is called torque. It varies from narrow to wide canals. If that is torque, then what is this mentioned on endomotors? This is the torque limit set for a particular rotary file so that excess stresses by dentina walls or torque can be avoided. Now this torque is not constant, it varies from file to file based on its size, paper, cross section design or metal used for manufacturing. This is called inherent torque of file or you can say capability of a file to withstand torque without fracture while maintaining its cutting efficiency. For example, it is 5.1 Newton centimeter for S1 portable gold, 3 Newton centimeter for all money silk files and 1.5 Newton centimeter for F1 instrument or S2 instrument. But because of this torque limit, sometimes file doesn't advance in the canal. In that case, don't force the instrument inside because this extra force will be added to safe torque limit of endomotor and will exceed the inherent torque capability or capacity of instrument and will result in deformation or fracture of instrument. If a file is not progressing in the canal, it can be because of its size or taper, maybe larger for that canal. In that scenario, shift to the smaller size instrument like 4% taper. Another reason may be dentinal debris packed inside the canal. For that, irrigate the canal, recapsulate it and then try preparing the canal again. The question is what will happen to the torque when instrument will be used again? During canal preparation, instrument undergoes stresses which leads to surface cracks in it. These deformities reduce its capacity to be a torque. So then torque limit set should be decreased in endomotor. But this will reduce its cutting efficiency and more time will be needed to prepare the canal. And at a point its capacity will decrease to a level that it will fracture. This is known as cyclic fatigue fracture. In the same way rotational speed is important Speed is driving force for generation of torque. If speed is lower than recommended, it will not generate enough torque to cut dentine. If speed is high, excessive torque will generate and that will not give a chance to instrument to auto reverse when torque exceeds safe limit and instrument can fracture. So for the best results, follow manufacture setting and be careful about reusing and forcing instrument inside the root canal. Thank you.